Okay, so uh, now we're gonna change all the days to what we need. Uh, so this will be Sunday. Get rid of that. Sunday. Oops. Move that into place. Sunday. Monday. This one Tuesday. Okay, so it's going to be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm not going to do all that. So, you know, you just fill those in. And then for the next part, you're going to want to look on a real calendar and see when the days start. I know this month, which is May, starts on a Friday, which is going to be here. Gonna delete all those. Do that. Okay. Um, so we're gonna change here. It would be Friday. I'm just being lazy, not changing it. Um, one, two, oops, three, four. So what you're going to do is put all the days in, uh, just keep going down uh, and fill it all in. And then what you're going to want to do is put the month at the top. What I did, um, which I'll show you in a second, is... I got the type tool. Uh, made it a bit bigger, probably around 14 now. Bigger than that, 21. We'll go with 21 for now. Uh, I'm gonna put May in, and I just popped it on there like that. Make that a little bigger. Okay, there we go. To the 36. Yeah, nice and big. Okay, so there we go. So you'll have all those numbers filled in uh, on all the days. Okay, and then what we're going to want to do is go File. Uh, we're going to go down to Export. Okay, and you're going to want to go down to save it as a Photoshop PSD file. Uh, save as whatever you want, calendar, whatever. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget to save this um, in Illustrator as well, because then you can do the rest of the months. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and go into Photoshop, and here you have my finished product. So what I did here is I put a black background. Well, first of all, um, you want to go into Photoshop, File New, and in Pixels, you want to put in the width and height of your of your screen and mine's 1280 by 800 got a 72 resolution and you want it on a black background um, but just set it to white and then change that when you go in so that's what I have here I uh, change the opacity of of this to uh, about 50% and you want to position it away from your icons, you know what you have on your desktop. Um, and you can put anything on this, around this, you can make it look really good. Um, whatever you want, other pictures, you know, be creative. Um, and save that as a JPEG, so your file save as JPEG, put it in there. Okay, and then you will have something like this, ta-da, and you got a calendar right there, so you know what you're doing. And if you're like me, you spend a lot of time on the computer, um, so you know you'd be swi swi switching between programs, um, and you've just got a little reminder there of what you have to do in the week, your day's free, 
you know, this this is just random, but um, obviously you can put um, whatever you're doing in your week, make it bigger, put other pictures around it. Um, but yeah, there you go. I uh, hope you find this tutorial helpful, and um, let me know what you think, and hopefully I'll get some more done. Uh, thanks for watching.